everybody, this is Praxis, and as you can see, we had a very productive day yesterday. My dad came later in the day, and all these floor joists, uh, which had been all getting assembled, they were just you know, scattered around on the deck, really cluttering up the deck. We were able to take them one by one and pop them all up. In fact, you can see there's only three of them that are missing, and the materials for those, I haven't built them yet, are right over here and right in front of you. Uh, and I'm just finishing these guys up today. It's so much nicer working on this flat work surface than what I was working on down there for the last deck. Uh, the last de uh, deck, uh, when I was doing the floor joists, they were on, there's a pile of lumber out there, if you guys recall, and the pile of lumber wasn't completely flat. It had kind of a slump to it, so I had to have little blocks underneath. And I still have blocks underneath this while I'm working so I can get it up for, uh, you know, when I need to cut an end or whatever. But it's so much easier working on a flat work surface. One thing you do have to be, uh, at least cognizant of while you're working though, is the idea that if you have wood that's down on other pieces of wood, uh, the sun gives, I don't, know, I don't know if you want to call it a suntan, but the, the sun will change the color of, the, of your boards. So if you leave something down on top of your decking, if it's going to be your final decking, uh, it can leave kind of like a shadow mark. In fact, you see the bucket over there. I intentionally got it on the tips of these boards, which are all like laid uh, upright, so that if it does a suntan, it's going to be inside the... Uh, uh, the tongues and the grooves, and you're not going to see it anyway. If I were to take that bucket and leave it right over here, uh, you know, for several days and it just doesn't get moved, uh, there's going to be a, a circle underneath that bucket where all the wood around it got, you know, tanned or whatever, and the wood underneath the bucket doesn't get tanned. It's, it's pretty much what's been happening to my body here. I mean, here's my regular skin color, and there's, you know, <laughs> there's, uh, you know, what I've been getting by, you know, having parts of my body covered up and parts not covered up. So, uh, you know, unless you want, like, your deck to have kind of a farmer's stand, <laughs> Uh, you know, it's a good idea to kind of keep things uh, kind of moving around. Like all these boards that I've got down here, I've been kind of shifting them around day to day so they don't have like a hard line. It's kind of like a soft line as it kind of like hazily moves around. These boards right here actually won't even be there for that long because uh, the ones over here uh, that are vertical are going to start getting used uh, as the next floor joist. These other ones are kind of problem pieces, pieces with little chips and stuff. And I am going to leave them around, but I'm moving them around a bit and... Uh, you know, in short order, hopefully I can get this top decked and this part will start being in shade again anyway, so you won't have that kind of suntan issue. So that's what I'm working on today. We're also working on the logistics of getting uh, contractors here. I just talked to the electrician this morning and he thinks tomorrow he's going to be able to come out and maybe start getting ready to do his conduit over there or maybe just take care of the conduit. We may have had like a theft issue on site where he says he left a bunch of two inch P uh, PVC conduit here and it's, it's gone. I don't know. We haven't had anything else stolen. I don't know if he just miscounted how much he brought or whatever. But, you know, I could get in a big tussle with him about, like, uh, you know, that, that's your problem. You know, you have, to, <laughs> you, you have to eat that. But I just told him, it's like, okay, you know, if you brought stuff here and it's gone missing, I'll just pay for it. The stuff's not made of gold. It, you know, if it costs me an extra 50 or or $100 and it keeps them happy, you know, it just keeps things going. It's... I'll, Whenever you, there's a potential for conflict with somebody, and, and you know, he, he could be totally right. Maybe the stuff did get, you know, nicked by somebody. It was kind of near the road, whatever. But, you know, whenever there's a, po a potential for conflict with somebody, you got to ask yourself, you know, is, is the cost of going into the conflict worth the potential reward? And where it's just a difference of, like, you know, a couple, maybe a $100 or so of conduit, I'm just kind of like, okay, don't worry about it. I'll eat that. Just, you know, do what you need to do. So, so that's what I told him, and that really got his, you know, put him in a better spirit to get over here and do it. Because, you know, it, I have no reason to think that he's being disingenuous about it. But, you know, if you imagine if you're working on a job site and you bring stuff there and it gets stolen, you know, you're just, you're going to have negative feelings about that job site. I don't want him to have those negative feelings. Uh, and, uh, you know, if he's being disingenuous, it only costs me, like, a little bit of money, whatever. And, uh, but, you know, I have no reason to think that he's being, un, you know, untrue about it. it could have happened or maybe he just miscounted or whatever but in any event my priority is getting him here and getting that stuff done and you know the cost of having like a, a conflict about it would is higher than I think would be worth it so I'm just like I'll cover you don't worry about it so that's it I'm doing a half day here today I'm taking River out to play with his friends later on but uh, for today I'm hoping I can at least just finish up these three box beam floor joists and have them ready to go up next time I have my dad on site to help me with it that's it Thanks for watching.